evening, Spence. Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't get any sun falling from the sky. You can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can, you'll be A-O good. Whatever you say, Dave. Hey, hey, hello there, everybody. Gooden Day once again. Welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. My name is Spence. And it's time to begin the nighttime levels. It's a little bit different. Um... I could blow them up. I need the nuts. Uh... You know what? Uh, I don't think I need the cherry. Not this time. That should do it. And there's gravestones to get in my way. You'll see what those do later. So for now, I'll plant some sun. And puff shrooms, they're interesting. You can plant these as much as you want, because they're free. They recharge pretty quickly, so you can get them in large numbers relatively quickly. Like, like I kind of just said. I don't know. So these will come in handy, especially because sun comes a lot slower for sunflowers at night. Problem with puff shrooms, though, is they're really short range and they're not very strong. I mean, what can you expect for free, you know? But thankfully, if, since you can plant them so quickly, they can really come in handy. It's all about the timing and the placement. Yeah, you can see my sun's really coming slow. Like, there's one, but it's really slow. Which is why I'll definitely need my two rows that I usually do. Otherwise, I'll never get any sun. Puff shrooms are good, but I don't think I can win the day just with puff shrooms. I'm gonna need some more defense and some more offense. Yeah, he'll... Nah, he won't be fine. Well, maybe he will. Yeah, he'll be okay. I'll have one in time to back him up. I've already got another one ready, so... And... I don't know, I should cover my rows first, that's most important. That should do it, I hope. They're not nearly as strong as pea shooters, I'm pretty sure, but... With the numbers that you can put them in, it's a lot easier to deal damage with them. Uh-oh, here's a new type of zombie, the newspaper reading zombie. I don't remember what his name is right off the top of my head. He's got his boxers on. I'm gonna need to block him for a reason. Because, as you can see, his newspaper's taking the damage. And I got money. I can buy stuff from the shop. You get rid of his newspapers, he gets pissed off and his eyes go red and he does a lot more damage and speed. And... That's why he needs stronger defense. And pea shooters. Thankfully, this sun setup will make things a lot easier. The thing about these newspaper zombies, though, they're weak. They just have a lot of speed, so they can chew through your plants really quick if you don't have much guarding you. money. This will really come into play later, because obviously I don't have much right now, but I'll get more money later on. This setup served me pretty well, but now it's, it looks like it's about time for the final wave. Final wave! That's what the graves are for. Pops up zombies in front of you, and they can get right up in your face really quickly, so it can be a pain. This ought to slow some of them down. Oh, more cash. Well, it's not cash, not even gold, it's silver. But there will be gold later. It's over? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting how the early levels are always easy. It'll get a lot tougher later on, but... I just got myself a new plant, that is the Sun Shroom. It gives me small sun at first and normal sun later, which is what I'll be using instead of sunflowers later on. But that'll have to wait till the next video, guys, so thanks for watching. This was Spence with Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies, and I will see you guys next time.